in the mid lane is a little bit surprising, Betty. Yeah, I mean, for Humanoid, as a player, not that surprising. Of course, sure. in the current meta, definitely very surprising, right? Uh, I was having a look back. A little bit of his life. He was thinking about playing the Jigenda game right there, yeah. you know? Can he weave through the towers? Actually looking for a top dive. Ebby, a little bit low, level difference. He has Q3 and uses it immediately, misses it as well. The step bus presence, it's easy dive for Fnatic. A very clean play from Razork. He saw the opportunity yeah, after... This one was just for cannon minions, but it's also yeah, when someone it's, uses, it's up, a uses up your quota. <laughs> that also made me laugh. Everyone just replying to my tweets, minus one, minus one. <laughs> Realm what from Humanoid? Yeah, Mercer was looking to contest this. Yankos caught in the pit. Ragnarok coming out, and Fnatic with a great collapse there. Oscar winning, going forward, looking for more. Mercer dashing in, tries to get in the knock up, but a good keeper's verdict from Razzle will force Heretics to disengage. And Fnatic steal away the Herald, a two kill advantage, a two and a half. Thousand. Overall, just great early game play. That's a 4k gold lead now for Fnatic. And this is what I talk about in terms of how well they play their early game. Oscar Rennen now, 1v1. That's the Ragnarok all out coming out. Evie actually pulls him away from Jankos. Ragnarok being used, cease and desist, eight seconds away. The smite for the slow. Jankos looking for the red buff as well. Oh. But the undertow from Oscar Rennen pulls Evie under the depths. V200 KDA mark here, Betty. As the fight does begin around the Rift Hold. Well, the thing is, Fnatic started by pushing in the mid wave, but their resources then got divided. Heretics with four members on the objective oh, first. Oh, good assist. Mercer going with the hook back as well, and Razork has been caught out, locked out, and shut down. Really nice season to assist. Look for the Hex Flash hook. Here we go. Humanoid, you got a flash. Knocked up first, there's the hook for the follow-up, the season desist coming out as well, and Humanoid is locked up in the mid lane and taken out by Heretics. They find themselves Another pick, they'll convert this into another tower. Might they don't even two. bother contesting the dragon. As you rightly said, VTO hovering around the top lane. Oscar Redding though pushing down bot. The TP will come through. Can Fnatic punish this? They're looking to as Razork. Evie going in, not tanky at all right now. Doesn't even have a completed item and the damage from Fnatic is enough to secure the kill on Kasante. Now, Heretics don't walk away with nothing. They get themselves the tier two in mid. They get the tier one in top. Sneaking yeah. around there. Fnatic are going to try and rush this one down. Humanoid TPing in. VTO going back to base now, TPing forward. But it's already oh, down to 2,000 HP. And Fnatic have secured it right under the noses of Heretics. Realm Warp forward as well as they look to chase down Ebi. And so many times in the last couple of days, I have said this line. Ebi dies alone as Heretics are nowhere to be found. What? Zero hesitation. 20 minutes spawn into Baron. Fnatic just kept Jankos out of the pit. No ultimate tech for him. Here we go. They're looking for no one. They're looking for no one. They get the hook. No one dies! And alongside it is KDA pulls. And Merce is going to get chased off towards the top side of this in the end. It looks like Fnatic will win out on the fight, but Noah is down. Humanoid training with VTO. Dash forward. Knocked back by Razzle. Another for Flackhead. And it may have spoken too soon as Heretics are able to dash away. VTO dashing, it's a double for him as well. Oscar in and trying to chase them down. The jump over the wall from VTO with a distortion will get him to safety. Yankos. That's four Barons now yeah, lost huge. for Fnatic. You, know, you keep talking. It's yeah, great. but you've got a view accounted for the seconds now. Hook. That's up as the hook goes in. The Ragnarok coming out. As we see Oscar in looking to chase forward, but not getting those auto attack means the Ragnarok will time out and the re engage from Heretics knock back on Ebi. Oscar in and gets the wild growth. Jankos trying to get in the midst of them, but he doesn't really want to be there. It's Vitio able to get one in response. There's a one for one in the mid lane. This humanoid was not there with the rest of Fnatic. The dragon up in 20. And this LeBlanc is a terrifying threat. No jungler on the side of Heretics means this is going to be difficult to steal. Flacken will give it a go. He's looking for it. ETO jumping in, can't steal it away as Razzle does still have that smite. Find. But I believe it was the QR. Now Oscar Rinning could be in a bit of danger. No, Rag no, Ragnarok is up actually, just come off cooldown. ETO still chasing, red buff for the slow, there are the chains. There's the root, Oscar Rinning, you're very low, pops the Ragnarok and tries to turn it around. Was buying time for the rest of Fnatic's to collapse. Yankos able to dodge away with the Vault Breaker, Noah going forward, ETO doing the same. Teleport invested by Ebi. And can play player down right now as VTO dashes in once again. The Hex Flash over the wall, but Jankos catches Razzle. No real follow up as of yet. The season assist being popped. The Steadfast presence as well. Oscar with uh, Razzle being pulled back into the middle of the fight. A one for one as both the junglers die. Still, anyway, 
Heretic's trying to escort three minions forward. Mercer just wiping the Meteo. Oh, and Meteo! Just deletes the Lulu. Mercer will fall though as Noah starts to stack up those hula hoops. So deadly they can be. But another yep. one for one. The kills continue to be traded back and forth, but look at how much more ground Heretics is gaining. Oh, they are. They're car parking that <laughs> Baron they are. No, they're really it's car just parking melting it. through right now. Fnatic, they're not oh, going to respond in time. What a wallop secured by Mercer. That's all great. He's just pushing in mid wave, has the ability to collapse. Razor oh. misses the ultimate, Verdict which means not guilty that there. Here we go, Yankos. Can you get the steal? And you can just delay as well. Vito pushing in mid, as you say. Yankos gonna dash out. Chain of Corruption coming out. Oscar in and hit with it. Now Fnatic need to get out and get control Stop of that the mid ports. wave. Stop the ports. Mercer locked up. Four members of Fnatic starting to close in on the bottom side of this. But Noah was lying in wait. Cease and desist immediately from Yankos as he tries to distract Fnatic from his AD carry. Vito on the Nexus Tower. Right the spike at Pulse's stopwatch. Vito's gonna take one Nexus Tower down, but already Humanoid has been able to get back to base and stop the advance. In the end, a Mountain Soul to Fnatic. VTO dashing away from the Fnatic Nexus. Chain of Corruption, Razork. Set for our presence, but they really don't know if they're going to be collapsed on. Yankos trying to get to the Blast Cone. He'll dash up. VTO will dash back. And Yankos will pay with his life. Noah unstoppable. Heretics took it in here, but Nexus Tower... He wasn't able to find it, so for now... Razork's Razork. looking for a fight. Razork gets the knockout, but let's keep his verdict used. And now Razork is all by himself in the middle of Team Heretics. The hook as well on Noah. He's still got a GA VTO. Trying to put some damage down from the side. Trimby acting as a bodyguard for his AD carry. Noah's still alive. Brought back by the Guardians. His angelic overlords. As the Fanatics are beating down the Heretics, Betty. VTO pushing through mid. Gets the chains down onto Razok. He has to dash away. Uses the clone he to dash forward further. Them, Oscar Rinnan coming in from the side as well. And the Undertow will find VTO. He dashes back with a shutdown for Fnatic for Razok, in fact. And VTO will experience his around. Trimby with a good ultimate to keep him alive. Support all combat. I don't think you win. No, no. Flack it. Flack it's here. Uh, right Trimby's going to have to flash. He uses it. Noah waiting. Hail of Arrows comes down, Trimby pops a wild growth as well. It's two big cooldowns. Yuvin's back in base, Evie's reset as well. They're going to lose a tier two in the mid lane here, Heretics, as Fnatic continue to push forward. Noah, no flash, Noah, no flash on the season. Descent. Going to try and chase him down. Mercer going forward, but Trimby blocks the hook. And now Noah with red, white turns to green. And it's going godlike. Yankos down. BT off towards the top side will fall as well. A double for Noah as they go in. Two by two. And the floods have come and the Fnatics start to win out the fight. The realm walk forward as Humanoid is going to bring the minions. And the question for Heretics is how do you defend? You don't have Yola Blanc, you don't have Yankos either. Can you hold the gates for long enough? The ultimate comes out from Razork. They're hitting onto the Nexus Towers. Flacken, I don't think he has the damage to hold the line. Ragnarok coming out from Oscar Inan as well. They'll tank the towers. The minions attacking each other, but they don't even need them. Fnatic, after being massively ahead, almost lost it, but in the end, they'll secure top two. Some things change and some things stay the same. Fnatic and G2 find themselves at the top of the standings of the LEC. Heretics